Okay. All right, let's continue with the next section. Now, the next section of the training is the contractor setup. In some, so some businesses, it may be the suppliers. Contractor are people that render services to you and all that. Now, in setting up your contractor, there's no difference between what we did in customer and what we, what we are going to do in contractor setup and all that. Now, in setting up your contractor, you use vendor and all that. So, vendor is the window you use to set up your contractors and all that. And here you have similar center. Vendor center or vendor information. This is where you add your vendor, you edit your vendor, or you delete your vendor. Like I said, you cannot delete a vendor with a balance, just the way we did for customer. So if there's any figure there, you cannot delete that figure and all that. You can only make it inactive or write off that figure, which will still appear in your report. So now in adding a vendor, you go to new vendor, just the way we did for new customer. You click new vendor. Yeah. Now, the way we selected currency for the customer, you can also select currency for a vendor and all that. So, if we have a company that does some of our projects, let's say we have, um, uh, can you give me one of your vendor? Do you have any idea? Hmm? S-Pro. Okay, S-Pro Tech. So, let's use a name like S-Pro Tech now. Assuming, do you pay them in Naira or Dollars? In dollars so if you create a name like this what you need to do is you go to the currency and select dollars you can see the way it works so you select dollars now what I mean is that anytime I want to pay my vendor and I select s protect automatically the window will change to dollars because that's the currency assigned to that vendor or contractor then I will click OK if I click OK yeah, to confirm what I've entered, by the time I go to my right check, this is where I pay my vendor and select Espotech here. Yeah. You will see that the currency is now dollars here. You understand? But you can pay a supplier, you can pay a vendor from your Naira account. It's possible. All you need to do is use the Naira to buy dollars and pay them. So here you have the option of selecting whether you're paying them in Naira or pay them in dollars. So we we'll also discuss how to set up a domiciliary account. After this, that's the next one we'll discuss. So this is very simple. You select your vendor information, which is vendor here. This is where you create your vendor. So you can also add a vendor in Naira. So we'll come here. Let's say we have a vendor called Mantra now. And we pay them in Naira. You leave it in Naira and click OK. So you see you have your vendor in Naira and in dollars. This is very, very important. Doing this will help to know which of the vendors. Because there are times when you want to check your reports. Oh, let me check vendors that I'm owing in dollars. Let me see the one I'm owing in Naira. This will help because you use the currency to separate those vendors too. And by the time you want to pay your vendors too, you can see, oh, let's see all the vendors we are owing in Naira and the ones we are owing in dollars. So that's the reason why you need to separate those vendors with their using the currency window. If, uh, has a Naira company, yes, you now create S Protec Naira. Again. Yes. Okay. You create S Protec, you now select Naira. Because so for you to, to new again. Yes, exactly. You go to new new vendor. You now enter S Protec here. Then you select Naira. Then you click OK. So the name is already in use. Let me put open brackets. Let's protect Naira. Or you can use NGN. Uh -huh. Anyone you want to use. So it's pending. So you can see here yeah, we have S protect 1, which is in dollars, S protect 2, which is in Naira, and all that. So set it up. Now the same way for opening balances too. If there's an opening balance, I already explained what opening balance means. Opening balance, it's not the transaction. Opening balance is the amount you are owing that vendor. If you're yet to remit an amount to that vendor. So that's what you enter as, um, as an opening balance. So if I have, like, let's say, my tech now. Opening balance. Now what I will enter here as opening balance is the amount I am yet to pay them. How much am I owing them? 
That's the question you will ask. Now, if we're going to be using 2016 balances, the question we'll ask ourselves, as at the end of 2016, which is 31st December 2016, are we owing these people, which will show in your account payable when you check your financial statements? Because when you check your account payable, you will definitely see notes to account, which will point you to the series of vendors that make up that amount. Same thing for account receivable. In your report, when you check account receivable, you will see the number in your notes to account that will show you all the vendors, sorry, all the customers that are owing you that money. You cannot tell QuickBooks that, oh, my total customer is one million naira. QuickBooks will not accept it. You must tell QuickBooks who and who are owing you this one million naira. That's a control purpose. Because if you cannot do that, that means there won't be any security in the system. Anybody can come and frame a figure. When madam may say, give me a report, you can. But when you're able to give detail of what amount that makes up that account payable, then your report will be complete. Oh, customers are owing us 100 million naira. Who are the customers? This customer is owing us this. This customer is owing us this. So if each customer is not paying, you also be setting them off too. So in transaction, we will discuss. And you will see that the reason why we are doing this setup now is because the foundation of everything we are going to do now is this setup. Tomorrow, by the time we start entering transaction, you will see that we'll be making reference to all this setup that we are doing right now. So if you are here to pay this mind tech and amount, you will enter the value here. Now, if you have credit with that customer, what did I say? You add minus. If there's a credit with that customer, or sorry, with that um, supplier or contractor, you add minus. Don't forget that. It's very, very important. So you click OK. So that gives us our vendor balances. Now, these two entries that we have made for both client and vendor, let's see how it will reflect in our reports. Let's see how it will reflect in our reports and all that. Now, to see how it will reflect in our reports, all we need to do is you go to reports. Though we'll come to report later, I just want to show us how these two entries we have entered will reflect in our report. When you go to reports, customers and receivable, customer balance summary. When you click it, it will show you, you can see the customers that are owing us and the one we are owing. You can see here that we have ABC Limited owing us 3 million. We now have TDPLC with a credit of. So total, if you look at it, you will see that our total customer is maybe zero and all that. Because this minus this will give us zero. You have someone that is owing you and you have someone that you are owing the same amount. So does it mean you are expecting money? No. And all that. So this shows our report. When we check the contractors too, in this report too, there is a way you can even change the heading. Vendor, vendor balance and receivable. Here too, you will see the same thing. My tech, that's when we entered only 8 million naira. Know that. Now, in that company snapshot here, the company snapshot that will give you a brief overview of your company, you will also see the balances too. You can see that little entry we have made, they are already showing. First, income and expense strength, our account balances. You can see your account balances are separated. We have the one in dollars and in naira. They are showing at the front. You can see account receivable in US dollar, account payable in US dollar. Then you can see account payable in Naira and account receivable in Naira. If I have my bank too, the same thing will also happen. Very important to note that too. Can you ask a question? Is it a way that, you know, for you to like, uh, put this uh, thing that you have to maybe those people owing you, their account should Mm. Okay. If 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 if. So that you know, mm. if you give this to you now mm. to some people now, mm. they will not be asking because everything is black black minus minus. Mm. Mm. They don't know that the people that you are owing is minus. Mm. They will be thinking that it's those that are owing us that is minus. minus. You understand? Okay. So is there a way for you for us to like be use red? I I I think in that in in, I think in that scenario there. You know, the, because there are certain things that are standard, there are things that are specific. Now, this request, request now, you just ask now. The, uh, this, this is the first time I'm. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, no, 
muss ihn den Tan entzehren. So, wir machen mal das Rollen. Hallo? Hallo? Good morning. Okay. Okay, I'm um, sorry sir, um, can, you, can I call you back in like an hour or two, because I'm actually in a training with a client, so that I can discuss your need properly. Uh, okay, 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 can you send me an SMS, I will reply immediately. Just tell me your line of business, I will advise you properly on the software you need and the cost. Yes sir, alright sir, thank you.